guys, welcome back to our channel. Happy 2023 first shoot and first video of the year. Today we've got Bloom in the studio and this year Peter is trying to get more back to doing his creative type of stuff and Bloom's always down to create as well. So they're doing like some kind of nymphaly vibes and just a little bit of a collaborate and yeah, we'll just show you the behind the scenes of their shoot. So today first shoot for 2023 and um, I'm planning to shoot a lot more of what my stuff, my series, my more in-depth stories and I'm still going to shoot my fashion and my beauty and things like that but I still want to go back to my roots of what I love shooting and that's a little bit more conceptual and a little bit more arty. So we've got Bloom in here today who's obsessed by fairies and I have got a series, uh, I have got a whole heap of stuff in my inspiration board with some messed up fairies, broken, nymphal, and that's basically what today's shoot's gonna be. Uh, I'm planning to shoot this both as a still picture and a piece of art, which means I will most likely print it up quite large and then paint over the top of it afterwards, and it'll be a one-off piece, which I have done in the past with some of my work. And there's one on the screen right now, which is one of my photos, which has then had paintings put over the top. I'm just using the, I think it's angler fish, I think they're called, constant LED light, because I can see more with my eyes, and you'll also see it more, that what we're seeing now is gonna be much closer to my finished image. So with my lighting, it gives me much better representation. I can really see it before I even um, take a shot. Got it turned up to about 80%. At the moment, there is a grid on the parabolic softbox. I want to play a little bit. I want to get a little bit edgier light. So um, I could do some of it in post and I can do some of it just using some mirrors or bounce wards and things like that. I'm going to just chase an image straight out of camera and do a little bit of post work to get my look. And then I might just quickly play at the end where I'm gonna modify the lights to get a different sort of look. My settings at the moment, I'm on 800 ISO F5 at 160th of a second. Um, might just come down to 4.5 just to see what light I get. Let's call cool there. So this is just my test shot of oh, 4.5 is going over. If I go 5.6, I'd rather to, to be a fraction dark than too light. I think that's looking fine. So this is with the box pointed straight in on her. It's falling off one side a bit more than the other. Um, I'm just going to manipulate this a little bit. Bring that light a touch lower. I might bring it a touch closer. I'm happy with that. So that's dead flat. I'm just looking, see, I don't have any bagging under the eyes. There's a little bit under the mouth, but I'll, I might fix it. I don't want to bring the light any lower. And there's only the smallest of catch lights. I do want her eyes a little bit um, zombie-y. Like I don't want to have catch, I want just those black eyes. I might do it in post. I might take out the catch light if I do want that more zombie type of look in there. All right, so I might just do a flat shot and do a little bit of post to get my final picture. Cool, that's what I call. Cool. Keep drifting, don't try and stop and hold, just so we get that fluidness of the look. Now, what's your thought? Don't go into model mode. <laughs> go into distressed, prisoned fairy or something. You follow me? Yeah, yeah. Go, I still want a prettiness in you. So I don't want you doing something your face is going to change, but I definitely want more of your movements to act to the environment you're finding yourself in. Cool. Yeah. That uncomfortable, awkward. That's really cool. That's really cool. So even Bloom commented on a picture we did not long ago where her look on her face was so powerful woman 
but then she was playing with her toes with her fingers, and it was such a yin, yin and yang, wasn't it? And it's those little things that make a picture really work. I don't mind that this is only just going off because this is still going, it's 248, 235, 212. So I've got heaps of room to fix it and I'm loving this sort of shapey things she's pulling now. What I'm gonna do is quickly just do a little bit of adding a mood in post. So if I just jump onto my black, well, I might, I might do it in color then black and white. So I'm gonna definitely pull down to get that chroming skin, which means see how we get this highlight down the each. And that's just by putting lots of contrast up into the highlights. To fix, so we've lost detail in the hair, I'm just gonna bring shadow fill in now to make up for what we lost in the hair. And then in this program, I can use clarity in Lightroom or ACR. I can use a circular gradient uh, mask and do work in there to get this very same sort of look. Now, being in color, it's pushing her over doing this, but the original file was not over. So all I have to do is change something, like pull the color out of it and you'll see that, and that gets me this dirty, in fact, it's quite cold. It's got a fair bit of blue in that wall. It's actually really nice and I'm not, a massive colour person, but that's cool. I'm liking that a lot. I might put just on a little bit more detail in the hair. That's why I'm push, pushing the shadow fill up. I want to be able to bring all those strands out and still keep this quite dark and moody like that. I'm going to just save that picture. Clip. Did you want to have a look at it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> if I'm allowed. If you're allowed. Oh, oh my God, yes, I'm loving this. You're loving it? It's so dark, love it. Dark as in dark good, not dark yeah, as yeah, in yeah. you can't see what yeah, you yeah, Yes, yeah. that's all right. Cool, yeah. so that's the first feel. We'll just, we'll snap out some more on this mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna do more manipulation using the light rather than using um, my post tools, sure. all right? Yeah. So you got the feel, you know Absolutely. the feel that you're working to. And this is really important that the model and the photographer are on the same planet and cool. you'll find that she'll be even more on point with her feel and her posing because she's seen what's going to happen. Cool, cool. That's really cool. Good. I purposely waited longer to see if she'd keep moving. She started to time herself to my clicks. And I want that continual movement so I can grab the file when I see it rather than her decide what she's going to look like. And she can't see herself. That's cool. That's really cool. Cool. Yeah, I like the awkwardness. Um, it's a little bit, I don't know, the, I think it's Gollum. Is that the character? Right, so that sort of, you know, that awkward, like he's nearly, he's got, deformities and he can't move properly. It's sexy golem. Sexy golem. Yeah, look at her face. <laughs> <laughs> no, just just pretend that golem's in the same dungeon as you. <laughs> cool, cool. That's really cool. Cool. In fashion, I don't get to channel golem, so it's quite, quite different. But this is why I love doing this type of work because this is more to create art. So this will be aimed at someone like Bloom, who's right into distressed fairies, golems, and all of those type of things. Yeah, these are cool. Even Beck likes them. I get her approval. Let's take this back and let's do more with the lighting. There's no right or wrong. There's nothing wrong with doing stuff in post or pre. Even back in the days of film, if you saw the dodging and burning that was done by people like Ansel and Adams, it was horrendous. It's, but that, to me, that's just creating an image and that's all I'm doing. Uh, there's people who do lots of composite in Photoshop and things like that to create an image. And I don't care how or what people do to create the image, if, as long as they can get their point across and it's their art. So what I want to do now, I'm bringing the light up a little bit and I'm going to swing it off to one side and just get the edge to hit half, half of it because I do have a grid on this so it's going to fall off much quicker. 
If I'm not going, if I don't get the look I'm trying to get, I might pull the grid off this and just turn the light even more. So you'll see straight away, we've definitely put more light to this side. Oh, the light's a little bit high here, so I wanna drop this light down a bit more. It's in the angle of the lights I wanna bring. So I've got less light up high on the wall. That's cool. I'm liking this fall off in here. I wanna bring in a little bit more highlight into here, I think. I've already pre-got a mirror so I thought this was the easiest way for me to do it. So, so what I'm gonna do is get this mirror in there, just try and grab some of that, there we go. So I'm just getting it in onto this side of her face. And if I get it onto her shoulder and her face there. This is another thing I love using constants for because I can see all this fine tuning that I'm doing as I'm doing it. See what that gives me, that's really pretty. It's subtle, yeah, it's definitely there. If you look at this, this side of her just there, you'll see it's definitely lighter. See that lightness that into this cheek's now lighter than that cheek. These are the things that I love playing with. I just wanna see if I can put a little square of light on her somehow. Oh, I like that there. All right, so I'm gonna set up that little light in there. So I've set up my gadget a little bit and I can see my reflection I want. It's just a matter of getting that where I want it, which is about there. You'll see it going right through her eyes. That's cool. It's really cool. Because that way I can now make this picture quite a bit darker, but her eyes are gonna have this, see that beautiful little mottle shine we get there. If this is coming into shot a little bit, I'll just pull it out in post. Cool, cool. All right, so I've got to get rid of that and that in post, which is easy, but um, you'll see the difference. See the shadow that's getting cast off her now and see how there's this night, there's a really nice sort of punch into her eyes. So this is going slightly different way. I'm, it's a, a subtly, but um, to me, that's added so much more interest into this wall with this shadow coming off her like that, I might just drop it a touch lower. And again, what I'm doing now, I don't know how much in YouTube you can see this on the video, but I can see it a lot on here. Oh, there's even better. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Cool, I like that. Yeah, cool, that's really pretty. Stunning, stunning. Yeah, so we've gone from there to there, and you'll see, look at the, the lighting, it's just, I like it so much better. It's given me this fall off across her face. Now I can do a little bit of my work. Maybe I'll go to a black and white. Again, I wanna down curve this. I want this dark and moody as, and I want that skin to chrome a bit. I'm gonna pull up a little bit of the blacks here. Get some detail back in the shadows out there, throw a little bit of clarity, throw a lot of clarity, but this is uh, focus clarity, so it's not sharpening. And like I said before, I can do the same look in uh, ACR and Lightroom. Yeah, I'm gonna vignette down the background as well. It's a nice subtle little vignette. Yep, I'm thinking I'm liking that. Now I'll just get her to nail it again. Oh, that's pretty. It's really pretty. Oh, oh. oh cool, cool. That's nice, that's really nice. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. That's really cool, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. That's really pretty, that's really pretty. Can we try a couple just side on a little bit? Yeah. That way. You need to bring your legs in reasonably tight with you. Yeah, about there. That's cool. I think there. Cool. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. That's stunning, 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 stunning. Just going to check what that looks like. Oh, that's good. No, where you, and you just, is yeah, that, 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 yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. That is so golemy. 
Oh, I can't, I can't say Gollum without you laughing. I love that though. It's sexy. Not even sexy. It's sexy sexy Gollum. <laughs> I didn't know this. Cool. That's really cool. Nice. Nice. That's really pretty. That's really cool. Beautiful, beautiful. Keep the shape about the same. So come back, turn your shoulders back to this, no, other way, there. And then try and stretch your skin on your back. That's it, cool, beautiful, beautiful. That's really pretty, that's really pretty. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Cool. Nice. All right, we got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we hope you enjoyed that. There will be more of this type of shoots coming. And if you did like it, you can head over to Inspire Now where there already is a bunch of other creative and crazy shoots on there. There'll be a link to that below. And I will also throw up some other videos around my head now. <laughs>